Okay, let's check it out. Sprite movement. So I'm going to run this program. And the jet is going up. So when I look at this function, loop, I see jet dot y equals jet dot y minus 3. So what's happening here is the jet is starting right here at 350, 350. What is that right here? Yeah. So it's starting here at 350, 350. And every single time it's getting redrawn, it's getting redrawn at three units back, right? Minus because down is plus, up is minus. So they just want us to add the plane as well. So let's do it. Okay, variable. And then we'll get our X because it's going left to right. Sprite X. And that's called plane. Equals. And then we'll get that again with some math. And this time we're going to go plus, right? Because to the right is plus, to the left is minus. I don't know what's up with that. We'll get rid of it. Okay, Sprite X. Whoa, that's a multiply. I don't know how that happened. I'm just going to change it here, look. And then we'll go plus three, right? Because we want it to go to the right. So let's, oh, I got to name it plane. All right, so the jet is going up three each time it's redrawn and the plane is going to go to the right every time it's redrawn, right? Let's check it out. And there we go. We got it. Cool. Lovely. On to the next one. Hmm. Okay. So we've got our fly here and we want it to go to the left just like this. So we're going to get our sprite and it's going to be It's going to go to the left. So sprite x equals. And again, it's going to the left, so it's going to be going, going down. So we need to go minus. So we've got our fly. And then we need to have the fly x again here and then minus three reset and run and there it is so again I put the fly equals fly minus three on the x plane left and right and that's it Okay, on this one, read the code that makes the mouse go down. So we see it here, right? Why? Because Y is the up and down, and it's going down two every single time. So what we want to do is make it go down two, and then to the right two. So it's going to go do 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 do, but so so quickly that you won't even notice it. So it looks like it's going at an angle. So let's grab sprites and we'll work on the X and we'll type in mouse and then we'll get our math. 
So basically I'm, I'm using this as my guide and I'm just changing it from Y to X. Mouse plus two. Okay, so when it does this loop, it's gonna go down two, over two, down two, over two, down two, over two. Just so quick that it's gonna look like it's going at an angle. I hope. Let's check it out. We got it. All right. Now they want us to add that rotation in there so it faces the direction it's moving. So for that, we put that in here because we don't want to have that redrawn every single time. We want them to stay. Mouse rotation. What is that? 45 degree angle? Oh, clearly it's not. I think it's minus 45. Let's try it again. There we go. Done deal. All right, read this program and predict the following. All right, so what we would do here is look at one of the cars, the code. All right, so we've got the red car on the X plane going plus four, right? So that's going to go this way. So the red car is going to be going this way. So that's the one we're looking for. And check it out. Here it is. The red car is going to the right. This one is going up. This one's going left. So it's got to be B. Or C. Sorry. C. 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 Okay. 7A. Spinning. All right, this is the same thing as the movement left to right or up and down, only instead of using the X and Y, you're just using the rotation, right? No big deal. So let's go ahead and drop that in. So we have the pan rotation. So we want the pan to rotate. And then we have to drop in some math because we want it to be redrawn every single time. So let's put that rotation again, pan rotation. And then let's say, I don't know, five and see what happens. So we're saying the pan rotation when it's redrawn is going to equal plus five every single time. And there it is. Very exciting. Very exciting. Onward. Okay. They wanted to make this motorcycle go from corner to corner. So it's basically like the, the mouse one, only it's with a motorcycle. So let's run it. And it, it like drops down here weird. So what's going on? Okay, we have our X is going at 10 units each time when it's redrawn. So that's to the right. And then the Y we have going plus 10. So it's going down, right? Because our numbers go down, right? 0, 50, 100, 152. So we just need to change this. Okay, there's two ways you can do this. The easiest way would be just to drop in a minus 10. So you're going plus minus 10. And it does it. Or if you want it to be clean Cody, you would just change this from a plus to a minus. And then just make that 10. And then it should be nice. There it is. Right. So you can do plus minus 10 or you could just change it to minus 10. 
either way it works. Da -da -da. Rotation direction. Okay, let's run it. We have nothing. Nothing. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw the rotations. Sprites, sprite rotation, and then get that math. And then get our sprite rotation. And then I don't know, we'll make it five just for fun. And then we'll change the name to blue gear. So I'm just going to copy the word blue gear and then paste it in here. Let's reset and run. Okay, we've got this one running nicely. Uh-oh. It's going the opposite way. Right, they want this one going counterclockwise. So we'll just change that code from plus to minus. Reset it. And that looks good. Okay, so blue is going to the left. The red and the green are going to the right. So, two ways I can do this. I can just grab all these blocks and drop them in. Or, I can just copy this code. Paste it. Paste it again. Show the blocks. And then instead of blue, change this one to green. And this one to red. Red. And red. Okay, now they should all be spinning to the left at this point, and they are. So now all I have to do is switch these to, instead of minuses, make them pluses. Oh, boo. Okay, so I'm going to go show text, and then just change this from minus to a plus. All right, reset. And there we go. It's a little faster, but it's doing what the same thing. If we want to drop it down, we could slow it down too. It's totally fine. There we go. Done deal. Okay. Using the counter pattern, make all three fish move as the image to the right. The blue fish should move the fastest and the green should be the slowest. Okay. We've got an orange fish moving along nicely. Alright, this is easy. So they're giving us the answer right here, right? So all we have to do Copy this, twice, change the names to blue and green, blue, 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 and blue. Oh no, what am I doing? That's green, this should be green. All right, let's get rid of these. There's no reason for them. So then I reset and run it. They're all moving, but they want the blue to be fastest, green to be slowest. So we'll go two, four, and six. 
Nice. It's a regular fish race. Okay, so all I did, I've got this value here. They gave us the answer. Orange fish X equals orange fish X minus six. So each time this redraws, it's going to be redrawn and the fish is going to be moved over six units. So then I added the blue fish with the same code, but changed that to four and then the green to two. And that's it. Bubbles. Okay. Create at least one new variable to keep track of the changing Y positions of the bubbles. So they just want us to add bubbles. You got it. Let's do it. Okay. Variable. What happened? Oh, put the wrong one in. Let's get rid of that. Okay, variable. Bubble. And then we'll create the sprite. Oh. I could have just done this very easy. Instead, I try to do it the hard way because that's how I roll. All right, and we'll have the bubble start at what? Uh, 100, 400? 100, 400? And then, I suppose we should find a bubble, eh? <laughs> There's a bubble. Let's call it bub. Okay. Bub. And then we need to... Set animation. Animation is bub. It's a bubble. Okay, so there's our bubble. It's clearly way too large. So let's scale it down a little bit, shall we? Bub. Let's go 0 0.25 and see what happens. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice bubble. Okay, so now we have our bubble. And we need to put in our um, movement. So let's go ahead and get variables. No, sprites. 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 And remember, we want this bubble to go up, so it's going to go on the Y this time. So bub Y equals, and then we'll get our math. And remember, it's going up which when we look at these numbers down here you see it's subtracting so we want to go subtraction so we'll get our sprite I don't know we get our math drop in our subtraction now put in our sprite why because it's up and down bub equals our minus and then let's just try one and see what happens Set. Or not. Ooh, bubbly. All right. Good to go. And then this one will uh, have an assignment probably tomorrow.